Is this a way to begin a mission to Israel? We've been blessed to have been joined today by hundreds of people from all around the world for so many countries in a four-day mission. Is this the way to begin a mission as moving as this remarkable ceremony is? I want to thank Mr. Yaakov Chaguel, the chairman of the World Zionist Organization, for the support for this wonderful, this meaningful. Um, Tekes Ruya Vixis, who's the department organizer, our representative there, Mr. Gail Greenbelt, the deputy head, and all the members of the World Zionist Organization for this most moving ceremony. But we have, from all over the world, our Chairman, Mr. Harvey Blitz, Rosh Hashiva Rabbi Shechter, Schlitter, rabbis, community leaders. Is this how we should be starting a mission to Israel? With pain, with difficulty, with tears? And the answer is yes. And how do I know that this is the way we should start? Because we just two weeks ago read the story of our people. And in the Haggadah, where we gather our children and we tell our children what it means to be part of the Jewish story, our rabbis teach us in an explicit Mishnah. You want to know what the plot of Jewish history is. And if you don't follow this plot, you've missed the point of the story and have not fulfilled the mitzvah of Magid. Matchil begnut umsayim b'shvach. You begin with the pain, with the difficulty, with the bitterness. But you must know that the story of Avadim Ayinu and those pain and tears are part of the story, but not the story itself. Yes, there is pain, but there is pleasure. Yes, there is so much challenge and difficulty. As Rabbi Wan would often say, the problem with people who don't study history properly, they become nostalgic. Nostalgic is remembering things the way they were not. Jewish history is remembering things the way they were, and there is pain. We tell our young children there is pain in life, there's no way to get away from that. Life is not always a bed of roses, they're thorns. That is the human story and that is the Jewish story. Matchil begnut, but you must know, my young boy and girl, that this is part of the story, but not the story itself. Yes, there will be maror, but there will also be the Korban Pesach of Geula. Yes, the matzah is the lechem oni, the bread of affliction, but it's also the bread of Geula. You must know that part of the story does not define the story. It is part of the story itself. And we come today to remember the story of the Jewish people. Yom HaZikron, Yom HaAzmot is exactly two weeks after the end of Pesach to remember that story, that yes, there is pain, yes, there is suffering, but Vahisha Amda, at the end, Lo Alman Yisrael, there is Geula, there is triumph, and we half hope and pray for all those grieving today who we grieve together with, that the pain should be lifted, that the lechem oni and the, the bitterness of the maror should be replaced by the lechem of Gula and the korban Pesach for us and for all future generations.